Hello YouTube, it is Chris and I am doing a makeup tutorial. <gasps> no, I'm doing a um, Valentine's Day tutorial. I love Valentine's Day tutorials. I don't like Valentine's Day, but like don't do the tutorials because it's just like red lips a lot and pink lips and such. So I might do one, I might do two, I might do three, but I'll probably just end up doing one. <laughs> um, this is the look. It's very natural, very, very natural. I'm not very, very natural. Very, very natural would be no makeup now, wouldn't it? Well, it's natural enough to make your guy happy. So, um, continue watching if you want to learn how to get this or you just want to hear me talk. So, yeah. Keep watching. So, I've already primed my lid with, of course, Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I did my foundation already and I did my eyebrows and concealer. I'll go into detail like after I do the eye stuff or whatever. So let's go ahead and finish up. Um, I'm taking my, what is it, BH Cosmetics 88 Warm Palette or Neutral Palette, one of those palettes, whatever. I'm just going in with a brown that's close to my skin color as a blending color. And I'm going into this one. It's right there. And I'm going in with just a fluffy crease brush and just putting it all over my crease. Puerto Rican, all them oatmeal raisin Asians. And then I'm taking a brush like this. This came in my um, Kirkland brush set. <laughs> and I'm going in with the lightest color. It's this white color in the very top corner. And that's gonna be my highlight. The only highlight I ever use I don't like anything else but that because it's nice and matte, but it's still light to where it will highlight my brow bone, but it's not too white. Like, you could build it up to be white, white, but just a little coat of it is perfect. So I just do that just to soften up everything. Just so I hate seeing harsh, um, um, harsh brow bones, colors. So I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more. Just like that. And now, normally I'd use my um, Milk, NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil, but lately, like, my lids have been really dry and it makes my lids look really, like, chalky and ashy. So I'm not using that. So I'm gonna use my Creamy Eyeliner by e.l.f. and it is in ivory. Ay! <laughs> it's in ivory, so I'm using that instead. And mine is like he hecka dried out, so ugh. I'm taking it like on my I'm trying to get some, but it's hard. So I'm just gonna put that all over my lid just so that the color I put on my lid will be a little bit more vibrant since it is really light, as you can see. And I just want it to stand out, I don't want it to be like a faint thing, so. Oh, I feel like a man. And I'm so pale right now. Like, it's, the lighting is ridiculous. Into who? I'm going in with my Urban Decay palette, the Book of Shadows 4th edition. And I'm going in with Skimp. Whoops. Like that. You can't tell what color that freaking is. But, anywho, going in with a flat shader brush, any shader brush. Um, I'm going in with that, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Over. Where I put the base and bring that all the way up to the crease. And blend it. Just blend in here. Just like that. Now, I'm also going back into the palette and I'm taking um, Bust. It's this color right here. It's kind of metallic y, but it's not too, like, too weird. You know what I mean? Um, so, I'm putting that right in the outer corner.
to make a B. I did that right. And then I'm going to go back and forth blending this in with the crease. So you build it up to your intensity and your liking. Um, I'm going to build up mine. Pretty smoky, pretty dark. So I'm going in with the fluffier brush just to kind of blend it as I um, layer. Alright, um, after that, I'm going to go into, back into the palette I'm taking Midnight Cowgirl. It's this color right here. I don't like pulling it out. So, it's just going to be our highlight, our inner tear duct color. So I'm taking a lip brush, actually, because it fits right in that area perfectly. And have more precision with it. So, just right there. And then you're going to blend it out with the blending brush so it's not super harsh. Just like that. Now, I'm going to line my lids, apply mascara, and I'm actually going to apply falsies in this tutorial. Um, I'm debating if I'm going to put anything underneath on the bottom lash line. I probably won't, but we'll see when I come back. So, I told you guys I was going to put on fake lashes, but... I hate the pink lashes. I couldn't even do it for tutorial purposes. I just hate the way they feel. I hate, I hate them. So I didn't put them on. Um, <laughs> I was gonna use, I think, the Ardell. Which one was it? Ugh. The Ardell 138s. I couldn't. I hate eyelashes. I don't even know why I buy them. Um, but yeah, I can't do it. Not even for tutorial purposes. Sorry. So, on to everything else. I use, of course, my Bling Eye Studio to do my eyeliner. I use my Milani eyeliner on the waterline. I actually did a, some... I normally never put things on the waterline because I have, like, really messed up tear ducts. So, I tear up, like, all day if I do it. But it's a tutorial. I'll take this off, like, later. Um, I did put some bust on the under lash line. And I did my mascara. I put all that crap in the bottom bar. So... Back to the rest of our face. So as you guys know, I already did foundation. Um, for Valentine's Day, if I were going out to a date or dinner, I wouldn't load up on foundation because most guys don't like girls that wear a lot of makeup anyways. they rather you be fresh and natural. Like, we get all paranoid or whatever. Like, oh, my mascara is, I don't like my line, I don't like... A guy doesn't notice that. So guys just see makeup and think clown. Most guys. Um... <laughs> so I'm not going to do liquid foundation, powder foundation, and all that other crap. I'm not doing bronzer. I'm just doing light blush. Um, but you can do whatever you want. If you do, if you need extra duty foundation, go ahead and do you. So I'm taking a stippling brush and I'm smiling and applying it to the apples of my cheeks. Now ladies, also, I hate when people put blush on the entire cheek, like on this entire square region. I hate that. Just don't do that. Anywho, so no bronzer. If you do bronzer, you do it. You do you. I'm not going to tell you what not to do. I'm not doing it. Now, I already have my lips fantastic all over it. So I'm taking, what am I taking? My Lip Flash by Milani. And lining my lip or filling my lip in. Now, if I were really going on a date or something, I probably wouldn't wear lipstick because uh, you're gonna be kissing him, and a guy does not want lipstick all over him. Especially because he's out in public, he doesn't want a big red cherry lipstick stain on him. So, I would opt to either use one, either use a lip stain, yeah, lip stain, or like a MAC Pro Long Wear lip liner, because those don't come off. But this I wouldn't wear, but this is all I have, so. 
nothing much I could do. And I'm taking Pretty Red by Arissa. It just looks like this. It's a darker red. And I'm taking on a lip brush and I'm just gonna fill my lips in. Just to make them even redder. I think I did a red lip last Valentine's Day tutorial I did. I was gonna do pink, but guys don't really like hot pink lips. So Okay, so this is the final look. My hair is like ridiculous. Um, and the eyes. Sorry I didn't put the fake lashes on. I just can't. I hate them. But each his own, you know? If your guy likes you having these little thingies on your eyelids, go ahead. But I... I no, I can't. Um, hmm. My top lip is looking really small lately. And two, that is it. Let me stop rambling. And any questions, leave them down below. All my links to everything will be down below. Um, that's all I can think of. So talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.